What I propose will be painful. California's new governor, Jerry Brown, inherited one of the worst financial messes in the country. Brown began announcing cuts from day one. His first target, the cell phone. 48,000 state workers with taxpayer-funded cell phones must turn them in by next June. And that includes the governor himself. Do you have a state issued cell phone and have you turned that in? Uh, I, I have it uh, in my desk uh, ready to turn it in. With a deficit of $28 billion, eliminating cell phones will only save the state $20 million. The cell phones are a symbol. It's not going to save a lot of money, but it sends a real message. And the message that all Californians are hearing, there is more pain to come. California may have the biggest debts overall in the nation, but many other states are also struggling to deal with enormous budget deficits, either by cutting spending or by raising taxes, neither of which are very popular with voters. According to a CBS poll, 77% of respondents prefer cutting spending to raising taxes. But almost three quarters think in an emergency situation, it is okay to keep running a deficit. In Illinois, the governor wants to raise income taxes by an almost unthinkable 66% to help close his state's $13 billion deficit. This is a temporary income tax uh, to deal with the immediate fiscal emergency our state faces to pay the bills so we don't have severe cutbacks. In New Jersey, which already has some of the highest tax rates in the country, Governor Chris Christie took the opposite route. Facing an $11 billion gap, Christie imposed stringent cuts on education and public employees. He even nixed a badly needed new tunnel between New Jersey and New York City. I can't print money. In California, a double whammy. Public finances are so bad, the Governor Brown says that on top of spending cuts, the state will also have to raise taxes. But that will require a public referendum, expected this spring. The only real solution in the long run for the problems facing the states is national economic growth. Until that happens, state governors will have to do whatever they can to reel in their deficits. But every action they take will make somebody unhappy. Terry McCarthy, CBS News, Los Angeles.